Can you go past it? Hello there and welcome to today's video. So I'm super, super excited. Today we are at the East Ridge Antique District here in Chattanooga, Tennessee. So I am here for the weekend with my husband just getting away and of course we can't go anywhere without antiquing. And this is one of my favorite spots to antique here in Chattanooga. It's like this corral of antique stores. I hope you enjoy shopping along with me and let's go see what we can find. We are about to head into antiques, artisans, and more. And
believe I finally found one of these Erfila Erfil Czechoslovakia pieces for $45 and it is because he is really damaged. Do I still get him? I don't know. Ugh, this drives me crazy. I want to talk really quickly because you can hear how loud the music is. Oh, look how giant that swim glass face is and it's only 500 and I say only 500 because they're going up in value right now. But look how super cool this collection is. Again, this is damaged, but uh, I was going to say they're 24 for the pair. I'm going to pick them up, but no, the damage is too bad, so I'm leaving them. Uh! I'm not sure what's going on here, but it's really cool, and I love this. It's really pretty. And look at this one with the 3D. don't know if you can tell. It's 150. And that's Italy. Oh, look at this. Oh, okay, let's see how much it is before I try to take it out. Only $22. Okay, we're getting this. It's really heavy, but it's Raku and it is a flower frog. Flower frog is in there. So I'm going to pick that up as well. These are the tiniest minis you've ever did see. Like, I can't even focus on them. They came from here for a dollar, and I'm getting them because I'm crazy. I think I have the matching bowl of this, but for 15 at 25% off, I'm going to get that. And I like this one too, but it's contemporary. This doll bowl is cute. Who is that by? Dog Life. Dog's Life. That's really cute, but I don't know if I want to ship that. And that pl uh, plate clock is cool too. <coughs> oh yeah, that's a really nice set. Does this open? Yeah, that's really cool. For a hundred. There is some wear though. She's kind of cute. Okay, I think I'm going to go ahead and end it here. Um, we're going to go next door and I'm probably going to combine this footage with that footage. So I'll see you over there. Okay, we are now entering East Town Antique Mall and we're going to see what we can find. No, they're closed. Okay, I am so bummed that these people are closed. We can never catch them. Let me just show you some of the stuff that we um, missed out on. Oh my goodness. Look at all of this beautiful bur 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 Bermuda glass. Like, you can't even see from the glare, but yeah, we never, oh my goodness, look at that bowl. How much is on that bowl? I can't see, but with the stand. Anyways, we, we never catch this place, but anyway so i guess i'll go ahead and end the video here um i might clip on some hauls um onto this segment uh just so that you can see what i've been picking up so far but um thank you so much for coming along thank you for watching and i will see you at the next place hello there and welcome to today's video so as you just saw i was really really disappointed that that um, last antique store was closed. I literally have been going to Chattanooga now for almost six years and we always stop by the antique district and it is never open. Um, we've come to finally realize that we're never gonna make it there during the weekend, which is usually when we go. So it has to be during a weekday that we catch them open, so. I was really, really disappointed. It was one of those things where I completely forgot. It's been a while. Um, so I was like, you know what? 
Tomorrow's video that you guys are gonna see is the last stop, the last antique store um, in the antique district and I only picked up one thing and I went ahead and showed you in the video. So this is everything that I've picked up in the antique district and just for us to keep the um, stores in order, I'm gonna go ahead and pop in the haul um, at the end of this video as you see now and then tomorrow will be the last video for Antique District. So this is future me from what you've been watching the series up until this point. So I'm really, really excited to show you what I picked up. So you've seen me pick up most of these things already in the videos. Um, I don't think really there's anything that I picked up that you guys didn't see. Uh, literally maybe just two items. So I'm gonna go ahead and just zip through these things just so that we can kind of have a refresher and you can kind of know what to expect to go up on eBay. Um, most of these items will most likely be already up once you're seeing these videos. Um, but as always, if there's anything um, that you see that's not on my eBay, um, just shoot me an email or send me a message in eBay. My eBay uh, store link and my email is always linked down in the description below. So check it out and as always, let me know. So let's get into it. Um, these are four stores out of the five. Like I said, you'll see the fifth tomorrow. So I'm gonna try to keep everything together as much as possible, um, but not necessarily in order of the stores. So just here, the first thing, um, that I see which I just noticed that they kind of have this candle that was included in this um, votive, votive vase, which is this signed? Yes, it is signed um, Covered bridge pottery by Lane from 1998 So this is this perforated flower um, vase and the beautiful signature right there on the bottom and I believe I paid $15 for this and 20% off and then on my way out of the store they had a whole bunch of vintage planters and I was like these planters are so cute and then when I saw this little derpy um, dog for $7.98 I'm like this is the one I'm gonna pick so this little brown and white derpy dog pulling the wagon i love these especially when they're Jap they're italian but this one is japan and i paid eight dollars for him so he's super super cute i know there are like some really avid avid collectors um, of these planters and i try to pick up just the ones that really speak to me because i know i can go crazy and then have like an insane amount um I paid $8 for this. Look how delicate this little vase is. It is so cool. So it has these blue like bubbles in the glass. And then this, this lattice or this swirl on the neck. And then these little applied blue beads on the top super light and super delicate, but it is hand blown. Um, it needs some cleaning, but I thought that was super, super pretty. So um, you guys know glass is doing really well for me right now. So I just had to pick that up. Um, I did pick this scarf up. I'm, I can't remember if I put it in the, um, in the clips. This is from the 70s, um, 60s or 70s. It was $2.25. Um, this little scarf of a dancing girl and boy. Um, super, super pretty, very thin. Um, if I were to keep this for myself, which is originally what I thought I was gonna do with it, um, I, I would frame it. It's just, it's so cute and so pretty. Um, but I'm probably gonna put it up on eBay just to see how it does um, and then if ever I need a cute little fabric I have one you guys did see me pick these up but I don't know there's like there was like no light in this place so I was trying to see if there was a marking usually they'll say Germany or Italy but it's this boy with a basket of fruit and this woman going to work 
with her hair and her bonnet, like great details on these little figurines. They're super, super tiny, but I collect these very random tiny objects and so I had to pick those up. And then this piece is so unique, probably more expensive than what I would have originally, you know, normally paid for it, but it is signed. Be again, beautiful signature right there. It is Raku. Um, I don't think this is porcelain. This is resin, this piece right here that the flowers go in. Um, but there is a stationary flower frog that's already in there. And it's just, the glazing is just absolutely beautiful. I love how it's flat, just gorgeous. And like I said, there is a flower frog that is already um, stationary in there. So that was from one antique store. Now moving on to the next, I did pick these up for me. Um, you guys know I collect these little um, uh, old booties and these are actually bronzed. So I'm trying to get the ones that I have not bronzed in bronzed. So I did not have this shape in bronze. They were in really good shape, great detail. I really like just the character of them and they are stamped on the bottom. I paid 18 for these. Just really, really pretty bronze shoes. So let me know if you guys want me to do a um, antique baby shoe collection because I have quite a collection and I'm very picky. So it's not a big one, but it's good quality. And then you guys saw me pick up all of these um, pottery pieces at the end. I got this wall pocket, which I'm really surprised is not signed, but it's just very folk art. Like this is the definition of folk art. Um, very folk art. I kind of liked how it was open on here. It kind of gives you the option to just switch out the flowers or put something else in it like feathers or something. And just this, this folded look on clay pieces. I absolutely love that. This is the back, it's just nice and plain and no signature, but I am really, really happy I picked up that piece. It was just one of those that was like speaking to me and I couldn't leave it. This piece I got because number one, it's Italy. Number two, it's Deruda. Very, very high end piece of Italian pottery. Um, I paid $12 for this. I, I don't think there was a discount in this booth. I'm not exactly sure what this is, to be honest. It says flower frog basket vase. Um, I'm thinking that's what it is. You put the stems through here to create a bouquet and then you can hold it. Um, I don't know, I just thought it was very, very unique. And you guys know I'm crazy about Italian pottery, like crazy, like it's kind of getting like out of hand, but I, kind of don't want to admit it but I kind of just did like it's it really is getting out of hand my Italian habit um I have so many pieces that I'm looking at right now that are in my personal collection I have three bins full um of ones in my garage that are listed up on eBay I just but I literally just sold a piece last night for $80 and I paid eight for it so it's just like I pick up these beautiful, gorgeous Italian pieces and I know that there are people that really collect and appreciate it as much as I do. Um, and so I'm not picking up as much, but if I'm gonna continue to find unique pieces like this, I am picking them up. Um, speaking of unique, this is not unique. I've seen this piece before, but I can never buy it because it's so expensive. Um, so I got this Italian, um, rooster uh did does do they have it marked as italian no they don't but i know it is italian especially because of this mark on the back um for 850 and it is in egg egg dish and usually with the egg dishes like devil's egg dishes they have like two spots for salt and pepper shakers and the salt and pepper shakers are usually missing but i know that nothing goes here because it's just the um the design and so you can put anything in here like a dip or vegetables or whatever. And so I really like that it was complete. It was only 850 and it's a beautiful color for summertime, which spring and summer, like I'm, I'm buying for it. So 
um, I was really, really happy to find that piece and to be able to finally um, own one of those. So one of them was unique. One of them I've been wanting to own. Um, so that worked out. Again, another piece that I picked up thinking that it was going to be for me. It most likely will. Um, I still want to look it up. It's called the Overloaded Arc by Hannah Swain. This is number 18 out of 100, which is pretty, pretty good. You either want number one or number 100, the first one or the last one. Um, anything in between, the lower the number is, the higher the value is. So 18 out of 100 is pretty good. Um, and this is just a Noah's Ark. I just, I love how it's like penciled and like, I don't know, it's really... I believe that the, the thing itself is a print, but it is signed by the art, artist, which is still good. So <laughs> we're good on that. Either way, we're good. Okay, so those were the first two places, or the middle two places, whatever. I don't know um, what order they are, but those were two of the four places. Um, two more places here. So you're going to see this in tomorrow's video. Um, I picked up one thing for resale and one thing for me. Um, you'll see the thing for resale in the video tomorrow. And I did pick up this for me. Um, it was $5. These are really expensive because they're really in right now. And actually there was a whole booth, a whole mid-century booth full of these and they were the full retail price. So I found this one for $5. I just love the idea of either putting a little plant in it, which I don't have a small enough plant for it at the moment or just putting a piece of pottery or using it as a stand so i just liked having it as an option and if it doesn't work i can always resell it so that's how that works um okay let's see i think these are like this yeah okay so these earrings are for me. You guys saw me pick um, the flat versions of these in the Brazelton uh, Vintage Market. I believe you saw that video last week or the week before. No, you saw that video two weeks ago. The um, Brazelton uh, Vintage Market. I bought the flat versions, or sorry, the pierced version of these. This is the dangly version. And I got them for the same price. They were 22, I believe, and I think I paid 20 for the other for the flat ones. These are the dangly versions. They are the Murano, gorgeous Murano uh, glass um, earrings. So those are for me, and I am so excited to have those. They're absolutely gorgeous. I, I just I love them. Um, and then I walk into a pottery uh booth my husband was like you're gonna like that booth you're gonna like that booth and he like tried not to talk while i was videoing but i was like i know i see you like he didn't know that i was gonna do music so but it was really cute so he picked this out for me and i'm like yep sure enough i'm gonna buy it these these this basket doesn't have prices on it these two shops kept the prices on them but um again another thing that i will never stop buying is bud vases pottery bud vases i have so many but they are selling for me now. Like, I guess springtime is coming, so people are buying them up. They are picking up again, so I'm just, I'm not going crazy. I'm still passing a lot of them up, but I wanna buy the unique ones. Um, this one was very nice. It has the Scandinavian look with the white and the blue and the stripes, very mid-century. I also like that it's terracotta clay. And I believe it was like $3 or something ridiculously cheap like that. And so that's why this one came home with me. And then um, also in that booth, gorgeous salt and pepper shakers. These are by Yuchuka, Yuchuka Wharf Pottery, which I still haven't looked them up, but they're just absolutely gorgeous. Again, I think they were like $5.99 or $6.99. Look how beautiful those salt and pepper shakers are gorgeous gorgeous shape um i am not into salt and pepper shakers i know a lot of resellers are especially the kitschy ones the japanese hand-painted kitschy ones this is my type 
of um, salt and pepper shakers. I actually just passed up a blue pair like this at Treasure Hunt. You guys know that's like one of my favorite places that's right very close to me. And they're actually a blue pair um, with a white flower and I might have to go back for those because those are only $6.99. So, but yeah, I love the pottery ones, especially when they're substantial like this and they really look like they're like good quality pottery. So I haven't looked them up yet, but I think for $4.99 or $5.99, I'm good. Like I'm gonna be good. This piece just spoke to me. Um, I don't know, I, I guess with, uh, anyways, I don't wanna talk too much, but this, this piece really spoke to me. It is a contemporary piece um, made in China, but it says heavenly advice divine wisdom just when you need some um just absolutely beautiful like a candle votive it says never leave burning candle unattended so you are meant to put a candle in here um and it's just this angel carrying an angel baby um and so i just i just really I really loved that piece so I picked it up it was five dollars it is contemporary and I kept going back and forth and at one point I did leave it on the shelf and then I was like I really really want it so and I feel like somebody can use it or somebody can buy it for somebody else that needs it so I don't know it just it spoke to me for five dollars and so I picked it up um and then this piece right here is $24 it is newer and I believe it was the heat of the moment kind of thing but I don't regret picking it up I just feel like I'm gonna be holding on to it for a while because it's not as special as I thought um again I still need to look it up to me it looks like rams but it just says grapes like straight up grapes there's a grape cluster here there's a grape cluster here and then these kind of look like rams to me. Like, am I wrong? I don't know. I love the shape. I love the colors. That was so unique, the brown and the green together. It's kind of giving me like Grecian vibes. Um, so yeah, I went ahead and picked it up. 24, I feel like it's a bit much. I would probably never spend 24 on a vase, but again, it was just speaking to me. So I picked it up. Then you guys saw this little guy in my thumbnail. Hager stamped Royal Hager USA down at the bottom and I don't know what this is called the bisque rough like sandy with the glazed brown but he looks like like what like a penguin like a penguin man um I think he's a candle holder it's shallow actually no it's not it is a vase it is a vase, which makes it even better. But I do think that they, somebody did use it as a candle a candle holder. There is a little bit of wax, wax residue. I think you can use it as a candle holder or as a vase. I just sold one like this, this same um, uh, model, I guess you would call. It was a, I'll try to see if it's still in my queue and pop up a picture. Um, but it was a, uh, jo a Jonah in the bellies of the whale. It was like a giant whale with Jonah hanging off the, off the edge. The reason why it took so long to sell though, like I had it for a while. I bought it from Goodwill for $2.99 or $1.99, something ridiculous like that. And it was huge. It's a, it's much bigger than this. It stayed for a while, but it, because it had some damage, but it was just cracked. It wasn't like broken off or anything, like missing anything. And I, I ended up taking best offer of 40 for it. So not bad. So $10, I paid $10 for him. So 10 into 40, if I get another 40 for him, I will be happy. So that's that. And then this next place, there is Pride and Joy. I'm not sure if that's the same brand, but there is a there is one of these same exact looking with the stitching and the blue and the the yellow it is a planter it looks like a blow up derpy dog like it looks like a blow up like a balloon dog but it's ceramic i don't know if you guys i've i've featured it several times on my channel um i'm not sure if you guys remember but anyways 
it's so expensive. It's like $50 or $60 every time I see it. And it's the same exact design. I think it's the same brand. Um, so anyways, when I saw this one for $24 and 25% off, I was like, I have to have him. Like, I just need to own him and we'll put him up on eBay and see how he does. So sorry, that was like a very long winded thing just for like this little cute dog, but I don't know. I love him. Um, I do have one of the round one of these. Um, this one is hand painted and in R Russia and it's wood. All of the things that I collect, Russian things, like my Russian icon wall, um, Russian things, uh, hand painted wood. And then when you circle like this, they are kind of drumming. Isn't that cool? So yeah, so I picked that up for me because I'm a child and we have the round one. Like there's a round one of like chickens and as the ball goes around, the chickens are like pecking in the middle. So that's the one that you usually see. This is the first time that I'm seeing this one. So I'm not sure how vintage it is. The sticker does look vintage, but it says Trenton, US, uh, Trenton, New Jersey, imported for Trenton, New Jersey. It does look vintage, but I don't know. I picked that up for me. Um, I also got this little guy for our icon wall that's behind me actually um this priest it is russian and he's hand painted wooden hand painted he has a cross on his hands and he has a cross on his chest at first i was like oh my gosh i'm so weird like why am i buying this and the lady you guys know i'm coptic orthodox i've said it several times but if you don't know i'm coptic orthodox um this is russian orthodox um, and the lady up at the front desk was like, that is so cool. If I would have seen that, I would have bought it. So I was like, okay, I don't feel so bad now. <laughs> so I got him to go up on our wall here, which we're running out of room. And I'm going to need to get another, um, I'm going to need to get another, uh, I'm gonna need to get another shelf very soon, which I do have one. Um, it'll just take some rearranging because I'll probably have to put it here. But yeah, so that's where he's gonna live. Um, I also get got this Jemez um, Native American pottery. Again, another spur of the moment. It was $2 or $3. I thought I was gonna keep it for me, but I'll probably post it just to get my money back because I don't want Jemez pottery. There's nothing wrong with it, but it's not vintage and it's kind of souvenir-y. So again, it was like the heat of the moment thing. This poor little girl, I dropped her as always when I'm unwrapping stuff. Um, she fell off the hood of my car and her little, um, her little head piece, this little ball goes on her head like that. I just have to glue it back. Um, I thought it was she was super cute just hanging out in the in the case and then I was like what is that and it said nesting doll are you ready for this so you open her up and then there's this little guy right here and then you open him up and there is this little tiniest guy you've ever did see you can't even see like look how tiny that is so yeah you guys know i love my minis you guys know i love my kokeshi dolls my husband didn't even give me a chance he was like yeah she's ours she's not going anywhere like he already claimed her so sorry but she's not going up um she's not going up on ebay she's ours um but if we change our mind um, we shall let you know. Okay, so two more pieces out of that place. Um, again, Italy, this one will probably go up for sale. I'm trying to get rid of my light colored ones. Again, I, I am gonna do a video. Again, I say again, but I think that video, 
no, you'll, you've seen that video before um, where I've said, I'm getting all my days mixed up, please forgive me. Um, I did say that I'm going to do, yes, you are currently seeing those videos now as I'm filming this. Um, I did say that I wanna do a um, it Italy haul. So in the store, I intended this for this to be me mine, but I think I'm just gonna stick with one style of Italian pottery and I'm just gonna go with it. So this one will most likely go up for sale. It is this beautiful um, white and blue uh, uh, vase, uh, sorry, a planter. And there is a stamp right there, Italy. And this actually says NB. I don't know what that means. Italy NB or NR. I don't know, I've never seen that before. But anyways. And then the last piece that I picked up was this beautiful ginger jar, stoneware ginger jar. Very nice signature on the bottom. Dawn, which I need to look it up. Dawn Pottery, 1994 right there on the bottom. This is um, bisque, which means it's not glazed and the top is glazed, which I thought was so cool. The inside is glazed, so you 100% can use this to store um, liquids or anything that's moist or wet. Um, so this is 100% a functioning ginger jar piece. Um, again, stoneware, nice and heavy beautiful beautiful shape i absolutely love this shape um so yeah i'm super excited about having this i think it was 16 dollars and 25 percent off something like that so anyways that's everything that i got from the east ridge antique district in chattanooga tennessee um i will have some more videos coming up for you um, from other antique stores that we stopped in on the way home, but those were technically in Georgia, not in Chattanooga, Tennessee. So enjoy the video tomorrow for the last stop in the East Ridge, East Ridge Antique District. And then I have a couple more videos coming up after that next week. And then the week after that, we will continue on with our journey from Chattanooga um, in which I can't remember. So the, one of the stores is called Grumpy's. It's a really, really big, really well-known um, antique store right when you get out of Chattanooga, right when you enter into Georgia. Um, it's called Grumpy's. And that's gonna be a big, long series of three videos. So that's gonna be one week. And then also we stopped in Dalton. So Dalton is another antique um, little town in Georgia. So we did stop in Dalton and I'm really excited to show you guys what I found in Dalton. So stay tuned. we got a lot of videos coming up, a lot of shopping, and it's, kind, it's really good for me to have these videos so far in advance because it gives me time to get all of these treasures up on eBay so that they're ready for you as soon as you're watching the video. So I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching. Please give me any information down in the comment section below if you know anything about these pieces that I did not mention. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you tomorrow. Bye.